In this video, we have a exciting one. In this PvP match or battle, it was chaos and carnage everywhere. It was really enjoyable. And even though I had plans for a different video, I think this video is worth showing. And uh, it really highlights the ability when under some serious stress with the Skurlock Nines and what they can do. Now, do I think there might be other weapons that could do better in that scenario? Possibly, but I would have to be in that sort of scenario again to give it a good go. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video, and let's get into it. So real quick, uh, I have a new change on my Brigantine since the last PvP video I had, uh, where I was using the Skurlock Long 9s. In this video, we, also, we have that and our auxiliary slot we have a new toy that has just been released, and that is the Le Fleur. I'm gonna go with that. I probably butchered the name. Um, and this has the effect uh, putrefy, putre, putrefying. Jeez. All right, we got it. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be releasing toxic fumes for a short period upon uh, upon impact. So there's gonna be an AOE, that a, a toxic cloud, and um, when you when when you do impact, you do get this huge wallop of damage of twelve thousand three hundred plus one thousand eight hundred and forty five explosive damage. It's just huge when you topple this at the same time with the mass break effect. You are chunking someone, and it feels so flipping good. Um, I want to call this build the tank buster. Because this sort of, I think, facilitates with the build. Um, when people enter, so even if you miss, people can enter. But uh, w w when they get affected by this perk, their stamina gets reduced. So sapping of crew stamina. And they'll also take damage, toxic damage over time, which you can't brace. So this will just give me that extra bit of pu uh, damage against uh, snows. Which is, I mean, is I, I can't personally complain. That's just great. Um, it also has the blast effect on it and so on. But that's the main thing with that. Coupled with the, the Skurlock Long Nines with the Mass Break effect. Oh, it's it's really good. Hopefully the, the video might have some of it in it. Today's video was supposed to be me trying to find a fight where I, I, I can really utilize this. But you'll see why with the scenario we were in. It was pretty difficult to execute that. So, um, yeah. So the total damage is 14,000, which is just huge. That's just insane. Um, if you guys haven't got it, hopefully I can show you some of it today. Uh, so let's get right into the action. So we'll be jumping right into the action with this one. So 
the, we're going to start off slow and progressively things will start to get more chaotic. So we, with this player here, we managed to get the break effect off with our Skurlock Long Nines. Absolutely loving these weapons right now. Um, I still think I might be preferring Bombards for just the raw damage output, but it is really fun shooting people's sails and seeing that huge chunk of health. It's just, it's just satisfying. So we're hunting down this player. He's uh, really he should be shooting me with his broadsides in this scenario, but he's not. And we managed to get a full bow and 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 broadside on him. We're doing it again. We tried to launch the new mortar at him. We weren't successful in hitting, unfortunately. And now we're just closing in on him. I want to make sure we're nice, close, and comfy with this player. And it's not going to be too long until he falls here. So at this point, I'm thinking, you know, this is going to be a very easy treasure map. Nothing too crazy is going to happen. But boy, was I wrong. And uh, you'll see what I mean here shortly. So we managed to take down this player. I'm going to have to sit here and get shot by the AI. But they're not too big of a deal in these parts of the water. So we sort of sit back and wait for the legendary treasure map to pop. So we managed to grab the cutthroat cargo and we start to head off here. And um, I am sort of gathering my thoughts at this point during the fight. I'm going to have a look at the map and just see what all is going on with the situation. Um, and it happens that there is another player that's going to be coming along. So we're going to be getting another fight. I can see he's right behind me. He's uh, gunning straight for me. He definitely wants to give me the business in this scenario. But unfortunate for him, I have the range control situation here. We are at a very nice range to get enough damage to shoot six times at his sails and get the mast break effect, which is what happens there. I'm going to launch off a very quick mortar shot. He's going to completely try and get out of that situation. I don't blame it. It does hit pretty hard. And you're going to see later on the sort of damage we can do with that. So we're just, just doing so, sort of, this is basically just Skurlock Long Nines uh, 101 right here. Just m maintain range, control the situation, and uh, just use your range to your advantage. And that's what I'm doing to this guy. I mean, I, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, he has demi cannons in his build, uh, which is definitely not, <laughs> not working out for him in this scenario. We do manage to get that last break effect on him, which ends up destroying his ship. So I'm going to start lining up towards the entrance, and I find there is another player coming in. They're just coming in back to back. It's just waves and waves of players at this point. So I'm going to put myself in the position to start heading away from him. As I said before, with these cannons, it's best to keep your range control. It's definitely your advantage in a lot of situations. Um, and so here I'm going to be poking him from really far away and be getting some good, decent damage. Now, the, th the thing is, is I'm losing damage uh, the further away he is. So you can see now I'm doing 662, and as he gets closer, that damage will start to go up and up and up. So I'm losing a significant amount of damage from range. But the thing is, is that with the mass break effect of doing that 7,000 damage, you're always going to get that 7,000 damage. So that's definitely something to take note of with the mass break effect. And just launching the Le Fleur off into the distance, it does sound pretty cool. I do like launching that. Um... I was, this video, I was supposed to actually try and get a good showcase of me using that, but literally I hopped on and I got into this fight and I just said to myself, like, this, this is definitely has to be put on, on a video. It was so fun. So here we are, we get another must break effect on him. He has healed at this point and we're just whittling him down really, really slowly. He's doing oh, pretty, pretty all right and staying alive um, at this point. And here shortly, I'm going to look in front. There is a player that just popped up there. So I'm thinking, oh, it's just one player. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, boy, was I wrong about that being one player. You'll see here shortly. 
a uh, little spoiler there. So I'm just going to try and launch that off. I thought I was going to break his cells. I didn't break his cells there. Now there's three players looking at me, wanting to murder me out of nowhere. Just boom. Hello. How you doing? So they just popped and intercepted me in this scenario. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off this player. I have worked him down uh, quite a lot. And I know his large repair kit is on cooldown because I'm pretty sure he used a repair kit three. So we get him down for our third kill kill in this fight and we're going to continue now we have two i believe the i want to say these players are together but i could be completely wrong um but they are they are um helping each other out here a little bit which i don't blame them i am the the, the holder of the loot so i'm going to have to pick one of these targets down and roll with him so in this fight you're going to see the potential of how my build it holds up against just sheer at being just sheerly outnumbered at extreme levels. Um, this was one of the, this is probably the most chaotic fight I've had in the game thus far, and I loved it. So this player here, we got the monster break effect on him, and we're just working him down. I have to give him everything I have. I'm going to get the mortar strike on him, and here you're going to see that sort of damage. Whew, just a huge amount of damage on him from the mortar strike. It's going to chip him a little bit, and we're going to have to try to get another. Uh, mass break effect on him. Everything's coming down. He's about to fall. He manages to get himself a heal off just in time. He is so lucky. And I managed to get mine off. I'm in a really, really tricky position this entire fight. The, the wind has been against me in trying to get to where I need to be. So I'm going to have to try and be mindful of that. I'm going to launch that because I thought the guy behind was going to move in, but he's not. He's got bombards and he's keeping at range. That's the, the claws player or whatever his name is. So I'm still working down Bazin. The close player is doing a ton of damage with those fire bombards. But you can see he's using fire bombards on me. This player is using, I want to say, demi cannons. I could be wrong. And I'm taking on two two players, like in close proximity. There I take him out. I managed to get him. And he he uh I wasn't sure what he was doing there. Maybe he they're, they're not together, those two players. I do manage to get my heal off. That was really lucky heal in this scenario um, because I'm pretty sure if that guy managed to actually get the ram damage on me uh, I would have died so the only reason I didn't take the ram damage is because I hit him with the front of the ship which completely negated the ram damage uh, which you know just gave me that that extra bit of time to get away that player that just fell spawned right next to me I thought this was really crap at the time I just like really I literally just destroyed your ship and now I have to like fight you again it is what it is. It happens. So I'm focusing down this player because he has the least amount of HP, being that he's lost his maximum HP. But uh, you can see just how many mortar shells. Those were three mortar shells coming down all over me. Like, I can't survive that long with those coming down on me. Now, this player, he just, like, I really want to kill him at this point. But I have to take evasive maneuvers. Those players are chipping me away, and I'm on a very long cooldown. So I think I've got about 10 seconds left on my repair kits. So I'm going to have to try and find a way to buy myself just a little bit of time here. So I'm using this line of sight in this little area of the map to buy myself just a little bit of time to get another repair kit off. Uh, here, this is unfortunate. I just have to just take these to the face. This is going to really... Be annoying that's another three mortar shells and i'm gonna just have to try and just put as much pressure on someone somewhere and uh just hope for the best at this point um the wind is completely negating me from going where i need to go like i said earlier the, the wind was just not my friend in this fight i am um, was just cemented cemented not uh, me not being able to get through this but outside of the wind hating me um, we managed to block a few attacks there that just gave me enough time to get another heal off. And here now we're going to be working on this player some more, but at this point there's not a lot I can do. All the mortar shells are about to come off cooldown. And I'm getting demi cannoned. I'm slowed thanks to the wind being a nuisance and I am going to fall here because I'm sort of trapped by the wind at that point. I could have tried to do a 180, maybe turn around the other way but I just wanted to get into some sort of direction towards the end goal so we fall there we put a bloody good fight out we managed to take four I believe down 
to this point. So now we're going to hop right back into it. I'm not even going to grab my loot. There's no time. We're just going to use, uh, use this time of people not looking at me to try and get what we can done and destroy the enemy. So at this point, you can see that some of them are fighting. I'm going to have to nab some of the a couple of kills here, which is what I do. I managed to... I'm not sure how I managed to, to sink that player, but he dies. I managed to get a mortar shell on the other player, so I get two more there. That puts us up to six downed ships. And now this guy is the loot holder, so I'm going to be focusing him down. I get a nice good ram on him just to add to that some of the burst potential I have and I'm going to be doing a lot with this player because he is the map holder so I'm just going to not let him get away to the best of my abilities so here he's got he's got his demi cannon so I have to pull range because he 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 does have the dps on me there um so we just get out a little bit out of range he does realize that and um he's gonna have to turn away which is what he's doing here the ai here blocks my final shots otherwise i would have had him in six shots here uh, which is really unfortunate and he starts to pull away from me and get some good distance which is a good play from him um if all things considered i'm going to try and snipe him at this point I am turning and I'm more focusing on, on my ship, so I miss all but one shot. I send two more shells over. We hit, we connect both those shells. And he's uh, literally just on his last leg and he manages to get a heal off. He is pretty lucky in that scenario. We launch a mortar shell in the direction that he has to go. So he just has to eat that. He blocks the mortar shell, but a lot of it goes through. And look how much damage he just took. We proc the mask break effect. We hit him with the mortar shell and he's just, I mean, that was huge. I think there was another player who was also shooting at him. I'm not sure what that is. Is it the Carinades? Uh, I'm not too sure, but he was getting shot by another player, but I think a lot of that was coming from our ship. And here I'm gonna have to wait for the loot. Now, I'm gonna be honest here. In this, I should have really have just gone for Larry69. He was singled out. I should have just gone and killed him. But I chose to try and juke him. Thinking that a lot of the players are now dealt with. And probably trying to get their loot or whatever. I was wrong. This was not the plan and this is going to cost me. But we're going to give it a bloody good go. We're going to try to get through this as best we can. So we're going to pressure Larry. Um, just to let him know that we definitely want to try and get him down at some point this guy merges with me beautiful merge from this player looking all dandy with his pay to win cosmetic um, it's not really pay to win i'm just joking around there <laughs> um he is looking pretty good though so we're taking a lot of mortar shells and mortar shells are all coming that was four mortar shells coming in those two players actually collide with each other they're too busy blasting me and they give each other a nice little bumper kiss so my sails are being shot at, but I'm not too afraid. These guys aren't rocking the full loadout, so it's, I mean, it's not too big. And plus I'm in a brigantine, so what, what, you know, what really is it going to do? They broke my sails there. They don't have the, 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 the mass break effect. Um, Anso wasn't taking the big chunk of damage, so not too, too fussed. So I am working on these two players. These two players are hellbent on killing me at this point. Um, Basim9988 is taking a huge amount of damage from us. We're putting a lot of pain on this player. He's uh, probably regretting his choices with the demi cannons because he's getting a little bit bullied in the scenario. The other player's got Larry's got. I don't know. Okay, I don't, I don't know who, what what Basim's got. Is it, is it? Larry's got his flamethrower out now. I didn't even know he had a flamethrower. So he's got a flamethrower out now. He's burning me. Yeah, I, I, I haven't seen him use that until now. I think they're shooting each other a little bit. Um, Larry definitely wanted to put his flamethrower to use and he finally got it. So he's going to chase me heavily here and I am going to pressure Larry now because Larry is my big threat. Basin pulled out a little bit, probably to give himself time for his his uh, repair kit. So I'm going to fall of course down Larry and we will manage to take Larry down. He is, uh, he's, we just about got out of range from the fire, but he wanted to use his demi cannons. He's a full close range build. 
which I think is the reason that he sort of lost this situation. Uh, we do get that monster break effect now, and we just need one more on Larry, and he is out. My sails just got torn by Basim. He's being a pain in the in the backside right now. So he managed to take out Larry. Basim's moving back up now. He's he's confident. His, his repair kit's probably coming off of cooldown here soon. He slows down there. I wasn't sure if he was trying to dodge my cannons on his master or not. Now, if he was, kudos to him. That's a really good really good play there um but I, I in my head i think it was just slowing down so we're gonna put pressure on basin we just got we're getting hit by a lot i am really hyper focused at the moment and i do try to dodge this island but i also have to try and keep the pressure up so here I'm, i was trying to get an angle on him i couldn't i tried to launch to the other guy because he crashed and uh but the crash actually nudged him out the way um and here i'm gonna get unfortunate so this is how i died before and this is how i'm gonna die again i get locked up in a crew attack i can't do anything in this crew attack but i'm gonna do my best to take another target down for my eighth kill in this fight we're gonna come in ram basim just for the extra bit of burst damage here i can't do anything he's grabbed me he's literally almost dead he's somehow grabbed me um, and I can't do anything, couldn't move, couldn't play the game at that point. Um, and we fall. Really unfortunate death, um, but it happens to the best of us. So that was... I th we did take out Basim at the end there. And that will be eight kills uh, by the end of that. That was just absolutely ridiculous. And that will conclude this video. I hope you all enjoyed that absolutely chaotic mess of a battle it was super fun to be a part of um i know i was being a bit bullied there by everyone but at the same time it really gave me the chance to put the the build to the test and see how viable it is i mean we were just sinking ships left right and center uh, doing everything we could to survive to, and taking as many people down with us as we possibly could i believe we gave everyone a good run for their money uh, I hope that the build was shown better in this video uh, under stressful conditions. I know some people were curious about its capabilities when under a lot of fire from various different sources. So I hope that answered that question. I think that it personally, personally, I think that it did rather well. But you all have your own conclusion. I would like to hear down in the comments down below what you thought of the build, what you thought of the fight. Um, and how it all played out. Uh, I know there was there was quite a few mistakes I personally made, but there was also a lot for me to think out of at the time. Um, and we're all still learning. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers for joining me, and I'll see you all in the next one.